lot of nerd here. It is day four here at San Diego Comic Con. We have had four days of pure awesome. Well, technically three, this is the fourth one. We are on the bridge across from the convention center, but I figured we would get the ball rolling. It's cold. Like, it's not warm, and it's the fucking end of July. San Diego, I think you're drunk. It is actually gonna make for a fantastic last day here at uh, San Diego Comic Con. So, super duper appreciate everybody that has watched so far and continues to do so in the future. We might have some bonus content coming out, wink wink, as we did last year. But, until then, let's go enjoy the last day here at San Diego Comic Con 20. Spot of nerd here. We are here, San Diego Comic Con 2023. We got a whole new crew. Sam, Sam, Sam. Daniel, what's up? Well, Pastor Carlson, while we were in the bathroom, you we were talking shit about you. So you want to talk shit about Daniel and Sam? Yeah, fuck those guys, man. <laughs> Here, the best part is nothing about me. <laughs> it's good to be without any COVID bullshit regulations, no more face diapers. We will continue to do a four part series. I will be taking many drugs that have been legally prescribed to me. You smell that? Mm. That's the devil's lettuce. Wouldn't you know it? Fucking Waldo's. Huge thank you to everybody that is watching, listening, following the whole nine yards. Stay tuned, folks. We basically see you at the con. Yes, well, remind us who you are. Because you're not looking at me. Yes. <laughs> yes. The humans do not know how to work technology. That is the problem. Even I do. I'm clearly at that so, age now. So, so. I'm thinking about assless chaps. <laughs> I don't know if I said 24 somewhere, but it's 2023. It's been a long four days, old brain not function very well sometimes. I think there might have been some human shit on the ground just now. San Diego, you are nasty. You are just filthy and I would be a it's kind of like Seattle but there is a constant whiff of piss in the air and you literally have to watch where you're stepping because at least half a dozen times I have nearly stepped in poop and it wasn't dog how fun is that holy shit I even found Carmen San Diego okay badass if you know that character you are old inspector gadget As mentioned, if I haven't already, broken record moment. Is this good? Do you like seeing my face up in the corner right here? Or would you rather see a giant face of Spot of Nerd with a little corner right up here? I like both, so I'm 50-50 on it. You guys look incredible, by the way. Absolutely. This is wonderful. I love it. Love it. Fantastic. I mean, going back, if, you, if you've seen day three, I mentioned couples that do cosplay together. It brings warm feelings to my heart. Full transparency, probably because I once had somebody like that who would actually do that with me or do it, but I didn't. See, I'm the asshole in that situation because I, a lot of rambling, go back. I didn't dress up. Senorita Valerie did. I'm actually a hypocrite. <laughs> Tom 
fucking Arnold's here? So sorry. Random. I've never really been a big fan of Tom Arnold, but yeah, you never know who you might come across. Actually, that's probably the only celebrity I've seen here. Holy moly, look at this. Wowzers. Okay, I think that was Star Wars Kiss Band. So much awesome in the cosplay department. For those of you that are watching that do that sort of thing, you guys are amazing. The ones that dress up and go balls to the wall on it. Like truly, I dip my hat. It's incredible, so keep it up. It's it's inspiring. It's, it's making those fictional stories and those passions that make us happy, and you're bringing it to real life. It's so much awesome, so please don't ever stop doing it. Alright guys, it is the time to start heading out of here. I will give you guys a full wrap up in just a moment, but I'm exhausted. So I definitely think it is time to officially bow out of here from Comic-Con 2023. 10 out of 10. Four cups of tea out of four cups of tea from Spot Up Nerd. There have been far more positives than there has been negatives at this year's con. If I'm talking really loud, it's because it's also really loud in here, and I want to make sure you can hear me. The uh, smell has been so much better than it has in previous years. I do think the weather has something to do with that. One of those rare moments, I will say, with COVID, it actually made people bathe. Another thing about the... Uh, this year's con, of course, as we mentioned yesterday, if you've watched yesterday, day three, or day two, or day one, this year, I am designating the title of this Comic-Con, Barbie versus Where's Waldo? Because in a way, it's kind of a bummer that I've just discovered the technology side where like, I can show you the front as well as me. But if you notice right up in the front there, there is yet another Waldo, so. I have just stumbled upon a X-Men cosplay shoot. Some of these are very well done. Props to the Jubilee, props to the Jean Grey over there, the Rogue over here. That's gonna do it. We are done with San Diego Comic-Con 20. 23 day number four is concluded as you know i'm very sometimes speechless on these things but i think this convention was incredible on every level you know sure were there the usual stuff yes getting here traffic the ridiculously overpriced food yes that's just what you expect here at comic-con but two of the biggest things that i think really made this was number one the whole strike, the after Hollywood going on strike, that I think actually made this convention a thousand times better. It really, really did. Because number two, which leads into it, it brought back the heart and soul of this convention. I've said this before, I will say it a million times over again. I still remember being a kid and literally being able to walk up on any given day of Comic Con and you could literally buy a ticket that same day. Obviously, over the years, that has changed because of Hollywood, because of the big movies, because of the big studios, the television series, etc., so on and so forth. And that's not to say they weren't here, but the presence was gone. And that is a great thing. We do not need... I mean, you can say, like, do we need Hollywood? No, we don't need Hollywood. Are they full of pedophiles? Yes, they are full of pedophiles. Clearly, we need Hollywood to make films, etc. We also don't need Hollywood to make films because there are plenty of indie directors that can do that. There's plenty of people out there, even myself, I could make a fucking film. It would be garbage, but I could still do it. So I think the, this strike thing has been a blessing. The lines weren't terrible. As terrible. Sure, there were some that were terrible, but as terrible. Again, everybody here, happy, positive, great to be here. No fucking COVID bullshit. 
Uh, that was, to me, I mean, that is my favorite part of all because, oh wow, sorry, camera's being a little wonky. But no, that was my favorite part. No masks, no fucking vaccine bullshit verification. Just a damn good time getting back, like I said, to the heart and soul that is San Diego Comic Con. My huge, huge thank you to everybody that participated. You know, obviously my friends, Sam, Carlton, Daniel, I love y'all. It was amazing to bring the first timers here and show you guys around. And thank you for being in the video. It really does mean a lot. Go and follow Daniel's channel. It was a blast. And anybody that has partaken in the video, obviously a huge appreciation. I couldn't even tell you whatever names are, but the bottom line is I've met some incredible people seen some incredible things, experienced the incredible things that San Diego Comic Con is and always will be. There is no retirement in sight. Spot of Nerd will be here, hopefully if I get tickets for 2024, so you're gonna have to keep putting up with me. I hope you will continue to listen and I hope you continue to watch. Please, you know the drill. Subscribe, follow, like, comment everywhere you can. Rumble, YouTube, Spotify, I know are guarantees. Other places, I'm sure they're there, Apple Podcasts, etc., but I really don't know if everything is there, so the main ones, the usual suspects, if you could share the support huge huge greatly appreciated and of course sending out my love to everybody that continues to already follow spot up there just again huge huge appreciation and love to you all including the haters because i know you exist because you tell me every day but guess what you're still watching my shit so with all of that said this is spot of nerd signing off officially for San Diego Comic Con 2023. I'm going to go and take a shower and go the fuck to sleep. Until next time, we will see you guys later. Bye bye. I would like to talk about something a little bit more on the serious side of things. So hear me out. This is actually a good thing, but also something bad to think about as well. I just had a really great conversation with an older gentleman in a motorized cart. Before you're wondering where on earth is this leading, he made perfect sense because we actually had a very good conversation about folks with disabilities. It really actually kind of like an electric bolt to my brain because I was thinking about my own disabilities and of course being at Comic-Con. As you know, as you can see in the videos, it's fucking chaos. So I admit fully in the past that I used to complain. Not about, <laughs> let's, let me make this very clear. I didn't complain about disabled people or folks in carts. There definitely can be an inconvenience when you have, say, a kid with a stroller, etc., things like that. So my mind has changed because I have learned, and I've obviously now, myself, with my own health issues, my own disabilities, I have a disability card, I am medically diagnosed as disabled, but my whole point to this being, we should do more for these folks. You know, this guy is trying his hardest not to run people over, not to, to, to hurt people, but at the same time, people, the majority of folks around him are treating him like crap. They're not giving him two seconds to just move. So I say this again as a positive to recognize this issue, but at the same time, we can do better. And I know to me, that's, I think that's something really something a message to get out. So I encourage you, if you ever go to one of these conventions, if you ever go to even just something where there is a lot of people, please remember these people. Please remember they also are here to experience the con, to experience whatever venue you're at, just as much as you are. They deserve to have a place just as much as you. That is your Spot of Nerd TED Talk for Comic-Con 2023. Thank you for listening. And I hope you learned something. And I hope you'll take it to heart. Dude, Ming, I, I saw you last year. Dude, this guy, I love you. Dude, him. I love you too, man. I love you too. But this guy, look at this, the, the outfit. Dude, look look at this, we got tattoo in. action going on right now. Look at all this. Yeah. No, for real. Living, walking art right here. What are you doing right now? Just curiosity. So, uh, yeah, I go to cons on the weekends, yeah. which I love. And then on the weekdays, I, I, I do keep on a podcast. Okay. Great. Creating content, just like we're doing now. Yeah. Okay, so, like, you got a website now? Yeah, yeah, website. It's called uh, A Shared Universe. I straight up need to go and actually look at it. Yeah, please. I'd love to do something. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I open up the studio, people come in, they rent it out by the hour, it's amazing. Dude, that is bad. Yeah. yeah. Thank yep. you so Definitely. much, I really appreciate it, man. Yeah.
Oh, 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 oh,